Hello fellow YouTubers, just a quick video that I'm going to make on the Cosmio X70, X870, sorry, on how to just get the keyboard off so that you can get to the RAM underneath and upgrade it so you can do like 32 gigabyte upgrades, which is what I intend to do now that I've actually got it off and then I realize it's going to be a lot easier. I apologize for the state of my Cosmio. I know I should have taken better care of it, but let's move forward. Anyhow, as you can see, I've already taken it out. How I did that is right here by the control button. I used a plastic card, and what I did was I just got, say like from in here, just got in between it and pried one corner off. Then slowly but surely you get the tabs off and I'll lift the keyboard sideways so you can have a good idea of where the tabs are. Uh, there's a tab there. Another tab there. Uh, which is in the middle of the space bar between the start and the alt button. Okay, moving along. Is there another one? Yep, by the arrow key. Because it's not focusing. Hang on, let me try that. There we go. And then, right there by the zero insert key. Uh, and there's one over there as well by the uh, enter key. Okay, a couple of crappy 2 gig chips which won't run Windows 8 for shit. There you go. That's that in a nutshell. So there it is, wrapped in plastic, easy to remove. Oh, that tab right there, let me just focus in on it, goes into that little tab there. So when you release the keyboards from these tabs you will pull it that way, downwards to release it from that tab. Otherwise, you're gonna struggle, break something, possibly rip, put too much force and rip out your ribbons. Okay. I hope that was helpful. Please leave your comments below. I'm happy to hear them. And if there's something else that I can do for you, then maybe I'll get around to it eventually. All right. Hopefully that will sort a lot of your little frustration out because you don't have any memory and you're too afraid to rip it apart. But as you can see, it can be safely done without destroying your keyboard. And as you can see, the fragile... Um, you got fragile tinfoil here, which doesn't get too badly damaged when you try to take it out. you just got to be careful. Because obviously I kind of fudged a little bit but I didn't rip it which is good so try not to rip it and be be patient like I said and don't forget about that tab that goes into that little little hole right there there we go thank you Doug okay see you later